These are the knife drills. And this is a live blade, so he's getting experience of someone thrusting and slashing at him with a live blade. So what's the difference between other Filipino martial arts and Pakiti Tursa? The difference is in the technique of close quarter uh -huh. and the purity of the system. Pikitersha is a pure system okay. which advocates the uh, uh, traditional and the original fighting Filipino way. The interesting thing here is their counter-attacks, first of all, instead of blocking, which other martial arts do, they just attack the attacking limb. He's going for the instant kills, he's going for the veins in the neck, he's going for the arteries under the arm, and he's manipulating the guy in such a way that he can get the blade into those organs very easily and quickly and safely, so the other guy can't cut him as well, so he's kind of locked up, tied up, or slashed so much that he can't do anything before they're going for the kill. Knowing the knife or edge weapon will save your life. What the Grand Two Hon's doing at the moment is practicing their standard slashes and thrusts, getting used to moving on uneven ground. If you think about it, when you're hopping around on rocks, you need to be looking at the rocks. But these guys have got to be looking at the blade, otherwise they'll lose an eye. This system doesn't concentrate too much on defending. It concentrates on getting the strike in. That could be a thrust straight to the gut. They call that the blue worm. The one cut across and the blue worm falls out. A few innards, by the way. If you leave your enormous knife on the bus, the Kiti Tertia has unarmed techniques that make grown men wince. You can... Oh dear. Why do you keep smacking him on the backside? Because this is a substitute for the kidney. So that represents yeah. the kidney. Now, how would you hit him when you got him in this position? How would you hit the kidneys? What? <laughs> I just had an injection there. There's a big bruise. It really hurts. <laughs> Is it the same as like punching him? Bang! We don't punch. Because when you punch, you bring in your energy back to you. Right. But when you slap, we eject the energy. Into the body? Yes, into the yeah, yeah. target. Yeah, yeah. In the Filipino way, if he punches me, I guide that. I break that. You break, break, his, you'd wrist. break his wrist and his yeah, fist as well? Break that. See? Yeah. Knuckle break, wrist okay. break, elbow break, shoulder break, neck break. That's interesting. There must be non comparability so you're basically not giving him a chance no to fight back again. No, 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 second time. This is not a sport, this is a killing arm. Oh yeah, this is combat. Big knives, big slaps, no mercy. The Philippines is a no-frills fighting nation. Couldn't be simpler. Uh, hold on a minute. But that's not the whole story. In the Philippines, a martial artist might consider attacking the spirit or even the soul of an opponent. There's a strong tradition here of invoking the supernatural into the fighting arts. The possibility that your enemies might call on the dead to help give you a pasting is a real concern in the Philippines. You have to be prepared for the worst. You have to anticipate your opponents and your enemy that they might use supernatural power against you. Is that them putting spells on you or something like that? Yes, it's a kind of a spirit that they invoke uh, from the dead as their slave to command mm -hmm. you lose your senses you will suffer some kind of uh, uh, sickness mm -hmm. so our responsibility is to see to it that we are protected by that Leo's first line of defense is his collection of oration Latin prayers that counteract the evil intent of enemies and their slaves each oration has its own special purpose and Leo's built up quite an arsenal I have 30 prayers. So do you carry this around with you all the time? Yes, I have to carry this all the time. Just in case I, you get it. Yes. Out. Would you ever use this to inflict damage, supernatural damage no, on you? No, you cannot. Because this oration is to uh, anticipate any uh, danger. In this oration, it says the power of God to give light. See, so this is not voodoo. A voodoo meaning bad spirits. The big gun for supernatural work is Leo's amulet, a special stone that never leaves his neck. Filipinos place great trust in these mystically charged objects. They offer protection and superhuman powers to the owner. You see the stone, it has an eye, two eyes, yeah. uh, and a mouth. See? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and it's got two eyes and a mouth. mouth. Yeah. And some hair. Yeah, see. It's a good looking fella. I feel hot if there is danger. Uh -huh. It warm my body. Do you mean physical or supernatural? Physical. Danger? 
physical, it's a physical yes. danger. If you warm my body. You feel hot. I feel hot. Happens. That means there is a danger. So there. you can sense the killer intent. That's right. Okay. Leo was quite happy to demonstrate his amulet alarm under test conditions. You can uh, attack me. See. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay, I'll tell you what then. I'll use killer intent mm -hmm. and I'll lift my hand as if I had a dagger, mm -hmm. and you'll see if you can sense that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And if you can, you will just reach out and. Remember, it's the intention to attack that Leo is responding to, so he should move just before Chris. You know, I will just respond to you, whatever you want to do. 